one gap in a suit walking through the field. Get the intro, isolation. For every person who is suffering from substance use disorder, there is no bigger champion. I'm David Trump and I approve this message. If you've been injured in a car accident, call Pound Wall from your cell phone. Morgan and Morgan. And if it's going to do well wherever he is. Except you and us. That's my fault. I didn't say that. Couldn't bring Samuel back home alive either, could I? And you can't say that boy. That's in God's hands. That's a young Brad Pitt with Anthony Hopkins in Legends of the Fall, one of director and producer Ed Zwick's many successes. He's looking back on his remarkable career with Luke Burbank. Hey, 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 if you were making a movie about Ed Zwick, the Oscar-winning producer and director of various huge films, this is just a beautiful campus. Is that Act One would definitely feature the American Film Institute in LA as a backdrop. So it's very hands-on. It's very uh, deep into the pool right away. And your other students or fellows, as we are called here, um, will in fact become your own teachers. This was where, back in the 70s, a 20-something Ed realized he was out of his depth and had to quickly start learning from his peers. Action! That's something he hasn't stopped doing over his 40-plus year career. I'd like to print that. Uh, let's print A and B camera. There's a, a great American narrative tradition that this has become a part of. I think you got something to tell me, sir. Over the years, he's directed some of Hollywood's brightest. Denzel Washington. I'm gonna find out the truth, I guarantee you that. Tell me, man! Tom Cruise. If you does not shoot me, I will kill it! He's using him. Leonardo DiCaprio. I'm using him, and you are using me, and this is how it works, isn't it? And almost Julia Roberts, who agreed to star in Shakespeare in Love before quitting without a word shutting the film down for years. It's all recounted in Zwick's new book, Hits, Flops, and Other Illusions, The Good, the Bad, and the Ugly of Working in Hollywood. It's a crucible, and in a crucible among artists, things fulminate. And there's actually something beautiful about that, and often something very good comes of that. But I wanted to tell it as it was. Zwick and his producing partner, Marshall Perskovitz, have been in that crucible since the two met as students at AFI and formed what they call the longest partnership in Hollywood history. We love to make epic films, big films, but we also believe that people can achieve the epic in normal life. Which is what they tried to achieve with their first TV series. There isn't enough time. 30 something. They didn't think it would last one season. Did you ever think of having an affair? No, I'm trying to be the back of a cereal box. But it actually went on for four and won 13 Emmys. Oh. We were really interested in ambivalence and the ambivalence of being in a marriage, the ambivalence of being in your job and you want to just screw around but you have to work hard. All the contradictions of life. That upset people a lot. People often wanted to have just a very straight up and down depiction of life. But that's not what life is. There's more to fighting than rest, sir. There's character. While making 30-something, Zwick got his hands on a script about a group of black soldiers from Massachusetts during the Civil War. Glory was a sensation. I'm fighting this war. But you sir. Battles on screen were matched by battles behind the scenes. Stand by quiet With as Wick says, of all people, Matthew Broderick's mother, who he says fought for Zwick to enlarge the role her son was playing, that of the white leader of the African American regiment. It was an early lesson for Zwick in when to compromise and when to hold your ground. What I wonder is how you've navigated the world as a director and as a creative of when to fight for something, and when to realize it's not worth 
not worth it. Uh, well, there's, I, mean, I don't know if this is um, fit for CBS television, but there's a poem by E.E. E. Cummings, and the last line of the poem is, there is some shit will not eat. But that also suggests that there's a world that you will eat. And <laughs> having to make that decision is really crucial. Now, if you look at his films, people cry in those movies. They are affected by the movie. They remember the movie. But in order to gain a profound experience, you have to put a lot of things together. And I think that's what Ted does so brilliantly. You have to have a great story. You have to have an amazing sense of casting. Then you have to know how to deal with these very special people who are going to go out there and be the face of this movie. And I think in the book he very eloquently talks about the different ways you have to handle different people. If this film, people are unpredictable. The one about Ed Zwick does have a villain. It might be Harvey Weinstein, who ended up buying the Shakespeare in Love script that Zwick had so lovingly developed, then kept him from getting to the microphone on the Oscar stage. Only in Hollywood can you end up feeling bad about something you're supposed to feel really, really good about. But it turned out to be actually very important for me later, that it wasn't about fairness necessarily, it was about hard work and doing, knowing what you've done, and then moving on, that you're going to get knocked down. There is a cruelty in this business that, that you have to accept in terms of the, the vagaries of, um, of what happens, and what do you do then? Uh, do you get up and, and can you keep going? See you tomorrow. We love you. We'll see you here on the Family Field. Show until next time. This is Peter Tomarkin on behalf of the Focati Rug saying thanks for pressing your luck. Bye bye. Anyway, we have just 10 seconds to say goodbye. We'll see you uh, tomorrow. So long. Bye bye. Yeah. We got we five seconds. Oh no, we have three. Two, one. Bye. bye.